I want to see if it's on Disney now yet or not. It is. Oh, cool. It just showed up now. <laughs> Nailed it. It's fine. I'm not mad. It's there now. We. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture, except I've living under a rock. It's finally time. It, it Season three of Amphibia is here. They changed the rules but I did not. After waiting so long, I'm finally able to watch and do my weird format to talk about uh, season three, episode one of Amphibia, The New Normal. Uh, it dropped last week. I will ideally see you this weekend for episode two. I stayed up way too late expecting it to show up. My brain and my productivity has been all over the place, but thank you for being patient. Thank you for clicking this video. Thanks for hanging out and supporting me, supporting each other through this. It's been weird, but here we are. I've done uh, seasons one and two of Amphibia, but in like a my bigger bulk format, but I wanted to do season three. Ironically, as they change everything uh, week by week, like I did with Owl House. I'm just, now that I have the time and the ability to do more of that stuff, I like doing it. So I hope you enjoy, uh, like the video to support me and the channel, encourage me to keep going and doing more. Check out other videos, Amphibia playlist in the description. This might be the last season. I don't think there's been a confirmation on that. Who knows? Everything's chaos. Everything's hell. At least something got finished. I promise to remove as much stress and salt as I can. So yeah, we're just gonna cut to me watching the episode and back here for the spoiler thoughts. Hope you guys enjoy. Do the YouTube words. I have a gaming channel, Bill Chill Gaming. I stream there Mondays and Thursdays. Um, that's linked in the description. Speaking of the description, there is also a link there to a card that will send you to resources for uh, mental health crisis lines, social awareness and education, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them, let's, um, let's go. <laughs> I, I just want to talk about it. It's just frustrating. It's not the show's fault. I can watch it now. Let's go, frickin' frog show. Take my three dollars, I don't care. <laughs> the traffic, I'm sorry. What is that That's a demon. How long have you been gone? It's weird that that's, like, the cities are linked. <laughs> Ooh, Pac-Man building. Or is that the arcade? I haven't lived in LA in almost 10 years. And Sprig just committed a federal crime. Do you think Marcy's... She's alive, Pop-Pop. She's just gotta be. And with her yeah. Oh yeah, Polly has legs. Ooh. No, don't put him in the trash. Classic Disney, am I right? Oh look, The Owl House Season 3 is also in here. I'm fine. Oh, trauma. Oh, God. Kill it with fire. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Domino won. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> me, oh my god, me. <laughs> or you could watch my videos on YouTube. And all of this is crazy. I wouldn't believe a word of it if the small front wasn't kicking me right now. Valid. Also, what about Marcy and Sasha's parents? Mom's gonna turn him in? Can you elaborate on the probing part? <laughs> it comes full circle now, please. Mom, Dad, let him stay. They can stay. Yay. You're all on lockdown. You heard the man. You're all on lockdown. Whoa. You get two shoes again. <laughs> oh no. I mean, that makes the most sense. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the song's good, but that's jarring as hell. Oh. Emergency family meeting, made for family violation. Oh, but your mom just missed you. Oh, Jesus Christ. But I need a little bit of space where I'm gonna lose my mind. You guys are- Valid. Polly, no, with new legs comes new responsibilities. Oh, come on. I can't go out alone for an hour? Last time you went out alone, 
You got trapped in another world for five months. Valid. We need to work on that trauma. But you're the literal poster child for hating responsibility. Uh, ah! <laughs> but she grew into a town protector. Yeah. Voted prom of the year. Yeah. Nothing's gonna be trying to kill us for a change. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, meanwhile in hell. Ew, they're scary. Sure no! Don't give me that Zelda dousing bullshit. Oh, so it still works? Would you mind picking me up the latest Sydney cutting book? Marcy got me hooked number. <laughs> and as for you, my dear. Marcy! Oh, just be okay, damn it. Uh, I don't like the frog terminator boy. I hate Ew, no, and it's got invisibility powers? Screw that. Yes. Oh my God, to give him noses, yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a human. No. Oh. <laughs> this was a bad idea, wasn't it? Oh uh, yeah. Probably. It's great. Not everything is a robot. It, we're getting close. And it's got shoes. Oh, you have no idea how much that stressed me out. Oh man, are you up for that taste? Or I guess the smell? I've never had it personally, but I've, I've watched YouTube videos. And Okay, caffeine in moderation. Can't relate, but I'm proud of you. Maybe old Frog's right. She has come a long way. Yeah. Oh shit, that's right. The freaking invisible. Uh, oh, that looks so good. Like, ghibli good. Ah, yes. Pratt Mario. Oh my god, Amphibia predicted Pratt Mario. Oh, I don't like that. The noodles reveal all. Oh shit, is that a freaking Ube roll or whatever Lars made in Steven Universe? Mom, Dad, hi. Okay, guys. And no responsibility. Power, power. I would if I knew how to use them. I'm not sure it's something I can just do whenever. So I, 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 whenever you're ready. I want to see the powers again. Oh, that's smart as hell. I was like, is music gonna defeat the machine? Let the feelings go through you, Polly. Feel what you're feeling. Okay, mom rocking out. <laughs> oh, the robot doesn't want to be seen either, huh? Looks like the robot doesn't want to get caught either. Yeah, exactly. Is it like Kingdom Hearts? We want to like protect the world order? I don't like spooky Frobo, but man, I love the horror in infused stuff. The scratching and everything. Shrimp. Oh my god. Oh, unleash your power. Why does your cannon look like an artichoke? Oh my god. Oh, I mean, good. Protect. Holy shit. Okay, final smash, go. I mean, that wasn't even her final form. Oh. I think using those powers takes a lot out of her. Yeah. Coffee, the power of caffeine. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, this is a lot to process for everybody. We're all going through shit. I'm thinking I shouldn't use those powers if I can help it. I don't know how else to describe it, but using them feels bad. Oh, uh, what's that mean? All they have to do is protect you guys and keep you a secret. Oh, and find a way to reopen a portal to Amphibia returning home. And somehow defeat King Andreas. And make up with my two best friends. And bring them back to Earth. Therapy for Anne. Oh God. Yay food. Ew, hello? What? Okay, Spider-Man 3. Don't like that. Whoa. Ooh, okay, new outro. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's really cool. I mean, I like the lo-fi outro. I liked that. Holy shit, so many questions. The music was really good, but ooh, thank you for like not treating it like, and everything's gonna be okay. Like, no, this stuff happened and it's gonna affect us. And even like her parents, ugh. This show, but also specifically this episode had to tackle something really big that like has been on my mind and I'm sure everybody else's mind since True Colors aired. When was that? 20 years ago. What do you do after True Colors? It had a literal content warning in it. Where do you go from here? And honestly, I feel like, I think this episode honestly could be taught in a class on how to juggle comedy as well as story, but also high emotions and uh, uh, I guess drama in a sense, right? Because we, we just, 
so much. Oh, True Colors was so much stuff. So it was really interesting to see how do you return from something that intense, that heavy. And I think they did it really well because we threw out the episode Feel the Lingering Effects not only of Anne and the Planters and what they just experienced, but then also starting to realize, well, Anne's been gone for five months, her parents' response, her missing home. It really kind of came at this perfectly painful time. I, as well as I'm, so many other people, haven't been able to go home or see family. My family lives in a completely different time zone than me. All that really resonated with me. And then on top of that, uh, having just spoken to my grandma on the phone, and she told me that she's been making um, a lot of dishes that she used to make that like her family taught her. You know, getting in touch with, you know, Anne's, uh, not only her family, but also her her cultural roots and things like that. Going to the market, giving, giving the planters uh, noodles, and the durian and all that stuff and it just it really struck like a really intense chord with me and I thought that was really lovely I loved incorporating those things and I felt the excitement of showing your friends your hometown like taking them to the market and everything and it just reminded me of all the things that like I miss you know so many of us haven't been able to go home in a very long time you know I miss my family and the food and the ocean, the West Coast. I, I miss those things a lot. And it it was really nice to get to feel that. I know cartoons take a minute to make, right? I, I know there's like a lengthy production involved, obviously. When did they write this episode? Because it like fits too well, but doesn't feel intentional to have them on lockdown, quarantine, all this stuff, spicy, spicy words, but it fit really nicely. And I, I don't know, I liked kind of the title, The New Normal, already kind of hitting in a certain way. Whether it was intentional or not, it was so malleable to, to current things. And like I said, like being separated from from family and familiar for so long, it really worked. And it's to the point where I, it's maddening to try to figure out if that was intentional or not. But bravo, because I don't know, there was something about it really did a great job at like pulling at those heartstrings for me. Like, <sighs> I promise not to get salty. Uh, cartoons are for all ages and the stories are important and the really good ones resonate with everybody. It's fine, I'm fine. Ooh, ma'am. Like I said, it balances so well. Like the humor is always there to follow up, an emotional high, reconnecting with her parents, her parents realizing that Anne is not only back, but you know, like not dead. But it did make me wonder, and I hope we get to it, uh, what about Marcy and Sasha's parents? If there was a search party or something, they might have given up by now, which is morbid to think about. It really balanced that weight of the realities of the situation, the stressors, the pile of things Anne has to do, save Amphibia, get her friends back, get the planners home, figure out all this stuff. What are her powers? What does that mean? Why does it feel bad? That weight is still there, but then it's also punched up with this levity of the situation, but the levity never went too far. It, it, kudos. I already love this show. M my, my compliments to the chefs in every way. The, the joy never took away the dread, and the dread never compromised the joy. And I really loved it, handling everything that well like that's I think that's a skill I love Dan's parents I'm glad we don't have to spend the whole episode convincing Anne's parents to let the frog stay or that amphibia was real and things like that like we got through the drudge work of re-establishing the show for new characters really well really fast it, it let us like focus on where we are but also what's to come King Andreas Marcy in the tube and I'm or in the tank and I'm really nervous about that I think she's like a vessel or something Thing for whatever the king is serving, but then also sending the, the Terminator toad frog bot, the robot that can turn invisible, but then also adding the caveat, you also can't be seen either. And it, it keeps everything interesting. We're playing in a world of social media in the human world. So like, how do we keep this story realistically going? And the fact that both sides have a sense of stealth, a, a desire to not be discovered, it keeps that tension there. And I, I love it. I didn't even think that box would work. So I'm, everything I was guessing is already gone. I think the biggest thing that stood out to me was not only uh, her parents, but then we start to see Anne's powers return and like our lack of knowledge and understanding of it. But what information we did get is just troubling. <laughs> it hurts you or it feels bad. This is the gem of empathy, but also responsibility. So it, it triggered, it activated when Sprig was in danger and like that overwhelming sense of protection. And then it happened again, but only a little bit. That wasn't her final form. Does Anne have enough juice? I I rewatched the second Temple episode real quick. It's empathy and responsibility. Anne is being responsible, a big thing.
everything that her parents are seeing, but Anne's not telling her parents everything. She's still intentionally hiding basically all of True Colors, essentially. She stopped her story after the Third Temple. It puts me in this place of either there's like something sinister behind the powers, but I don't think I believe that because of the new season opener where it's like, we, I can fly, and it's presented in the intro in a fun way. So I wonder if it's more of a reflection on where Anne is at, if that makes sense, or the fact that it's not charged all the way. It was really like captivating to like powers, powers, and me too. I was sitting there and I'm like, yes, like do it again. It looks so cool. The animation was so pretty. She kind of does it. Not all the way though. In a time of desperate need, it, you know, takes a lot out of her. And I don't know, I felt like in True Colors, it more felt like, wow, today's been exhausting and doing this without preparing for it or knowing about it took a lot out of Anne. And I just kind of left it at that mentally. I'm sure it's exhausting to go Super Saiyan. Seeing it again here when she used such a small portion of the power, describing it as feeling bad when she uses it, her reluctance to use it, and also everyone's support of her using it less, which was lovely to see. Again, powers, powers. Yeah, only in major emergencies. It's fine, I don't need to see it again. I liked that, but it was it was really fascinating, and I'm wondering what's the catch of these powers? Is there a, a, a side effect? Some th There's clearly some sort of negativity there. It kept things intriguing because it's kind of that, I'm gonna make a reference to an old thing that people don't care about anymore, but it's kind of that hero's problem of what do you do when your main character suddenly becomes so overpowered? I know it's happened in other things too, but heroes has always been the standout example for me. It's like, how many times can you do something grand and big and powerful and then nerf that power to keep tension later on. And I think they did it really well where it was centered in just, it doesn't feel right and I don't know how to activate it. We don't know anything about it. There's not only a, timid, a timidity using it, but a lack of knowledge. It feels bad to use. But part of me is wondering if since the gem is empathy and responsibility, sure, she's empathetic and responsible, but she's still keeping things from her parents. She's still lying. I, I wonder if that's going to tie into it. Like being honest like that might help it. I don't know. There was something about saying that it feels bad that just kind of really stuck with me. But I liked feeling like this was still amphibia. We still have characters in a new world not understanding the society that they're in, how things work. It's now been reversed. We've come full circle and now takes care of the planters. And the concept of uh, wait for the town to get used to has been amplified drastically because now we're in modern world here. Again, everything's linked to our phones. <laughs> Hashtag amphibia leaks. Wait, no, don't say that. I'm interested to see more from Anne's parents as well. Well, I don't know. There's something, there was something about the mom just being like, eh, we're just going to call the police. They'll find something for, they'll find somewhere for them and realizing, no, we need to go into lockdown. I'm intrigued to see how the world interacts, how these clashing worlds now interact with each other in reverse. It's hard guessing what's going to happen next, which is exhilarating and fun. I'm fascinated and afraid of what's going to happen when her parents do eventually get the rest of this information. I'm really intrigued where we're going to go. We have to find like some way to do this research. There's clearly a mythos here there's a reason why the box was on Earth or in the human realm, I guess. Who that person was that brought it to Earth and obviously had to probably, I guess, stay there, right? Unless there's another way to travel without the box, which there has to be, because how else are they going to get there? Because the box is... I'm... Let's just have fun. <laughs> I thought it was great. I loved that perseverance of the positivity despite the devastating negatives. Hopefully we don't have any more weirdness this weekend because I just want to watch episode two and talk about it. <laughs> it's a weird time to be... Ugh, it's just it's a weird time to be. Um, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for supporting me as well as this video. Go check out other ones, please. Everything's been chaotic and stressful, but I do have a great time talking theories and stuff with you guys. I'm already working on some more animation theory videos because I've been having a good time doing those. More like the hootie hole theory where they're still fun as well as giving my weird theories and stuff. But yeah, uh, what are your guys' thoughts? What did you think of the episode? Where do you think this is going? Is there a theory video or something that you would want to see from me? Or what are your theories? Let me know in the comment section. Like, subscribe, ring bell, blah, 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 YouTube words. Gaming channel and description, Bill Chill Gaming. Also in the description is a resource for social awareness and education, mental health crisis science, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them? But yeah. Uh, those are my thoughts. I'll see you guys this weekend, ideally, with more amphibia. Be safe, be mindful of others, wear a mask if you choose to go out, drink some water, and remember to take care of yourselves, please.